Hello, this is Vision, and you're watching Skateboarding California. And my name is Jamie, co-owner of Silly Girl Design. So for this episode, we're talking about different types of grip tape. Now, I had a really difficult time coming up with how I was going to do this because, I mean, after all, it's really easy to check out types of grip tape in person. But how the heck do you do that on video? So I figured what we would do is just shoot some footage, skating different kinds of grip tape, and talking about how the feel of the grip tape was. And then I'll just cut to some close-up images of the grip tape so you'll be able to see it. Uh, since you can't actually touch it over video, seeing it and seeing the grain is about the best we're going to be able to do. So the first kind of grip tape is the grip tape that uh, Jamie has on her board. What kind of grip tape is this? This is your standard black grip tape you can get at any skate shop. Oh, well, what, like, what, what brand is that? Uh, you know? I think this is FKD. Okay. So grip tapes like you know FKD and uh, Jessup and grip tapes like that, uh, they're kind of very similar. Uh, some are more grippy than others. It's actually really difficult to uh, notice the difference though in the grain. And uh, therefore, for the purposes of the video, we're just gonna kind of lump all those into the same type of grip tape. So what do you think of this kind of grip tape? Is this like adequate for most skating? And uh, I found it's been adequate. Um, it's very plain looking. Obviously, I like some colored grip, but uh, it gets a job done. Nothing too fancy. And as promised, here you can see close-up shots of three different brands of grip tape. We have Mob, FKD, and Negative One. I also took a quarter and laid that on top of the grip tape so that you would have something to understand a sense of scale between the different grains and the coarseness of the grip tape. And now, in just a couple seconds, you will see I start to move the light source back and forth. As you can see, once the shadows start to move across the grip tape, that helps even more in seeing how the grain differs between the different brands. You can tell that negative one FKD are pretty similar, and Mob is probably a little bit more coarse, a little bit more gritty. You can see that the grain is a little bit tighter. It would be really great if the skateboarding industry decided to standardize some sort of measurement system for grip tape. As you probably know, the hardware industry does this for sandpaper. You can get really fine grit sandpaper, or you can get more coarse grit sandpaper, and there's actually a numbering system so that you can understand which grain and which grit is more coarse or more fine relative to the other sandpapers on the market. Unfortunately, skateboard grip tape doesn't have that kind of a measurement and like I said it would be really great if they started to standardize stuff like that someday. Well the next kind of grip tape that we'll talk about is uh, Edger uh, Pool Grip which I have here on my vision board. Uh, this is a vision aggressor and what I have is uh, this actually is FKD tape as well. The, um, the yellow and the blue is FKD. Wait 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 my mistake I was wrong. The blue is FKD, but the yellow, see I still have this piece of the old yellow grip tape laying around, see, negative one. The yellow is negative one, not FKD, so yeah, that's uh, correcting my error. But the black uh, is Edger, which is far more gritty uh, than normal grip tape. And uh, so what did you think of the Edger compared to normal stuff? Was it really a difference? You know, I didn't notice much of a difference. No? Um, feel it. It feel that feels compared to much the... of a difference. Yeah. This is a lot smoother, this is a lot rougher. Yeah. So, uh, you know, the reason I put Edger on this board is because, as you can see, it's pretty pretty flat. You know, it's a reissue of an 87 board, so it doesn't have a lot of concave. So I knew my foot would be slipping as I was riding transition. So I put on some Edger because I knew that was about the grippiest stuff that I could find. The next kind of grip tape uh, that we'll talk about is Vicious. Um, Vicious is actually uh, made by Rain and it is designed really for longboards. It's designed for like, you know, hardcore downhill longboarding where you're doing 40 miles an hour. So you definitely want your feet to stay still and not move around. So this board has some of the Vicious tape. Um, Vicious used to just come in black and just recently, when, when are we shooting this? This is January of 2011. And uh, they just came out with clear. And uh, I love the clear on this. I think it looks really cool. As you can see, it's, it doesn't really look like normal clear grip tape because it's so gritty that it kind of gives it like a frosted look uh, when you can see the color of the deck through it. So what did you think of Vicious compared to... Uh, this is my favorite so cool. far. Um, it's a lot grippier. You can see the peaks and valleys in it. 
Um, I felt like I had a lot of control and my feet were planted firmly. Um, definitely one of my favorites by far. And it looks like candy. <laughs> Well, I guess we're not looking too much like candy in this shot. Well, I mean, maybe it's kind of like licorice right there in the middle. Now, I realize that the title of this video is What is the Best Skateboarding Grip Tape? But the whole point of the video is that there's really no such thing as the best. There's just different. It's, like I said, sandpaper. There's no such thing as the best sandpaper. You need to use sandpaper appropriate for what you're doing. Sometimes you need really coarse, rough sandpaper. Sometimes you need smoother sandpaper. So if you're, say, a freestyle skateboarder and you're flipping your skateboard around a lot, you might want more fine grain grip tape like Mob or Jessup or FKD. If you're doing really hardcore downhill skateboarding or some vert skateboarding, you might want something a little bit more rough like Vicious or Edger. I think you can tell from this video, the Vicious is actually a little bit more grainy than the Edger tape. I've actually cut my hand open on Vicious just by brushing my knuckles accidentally across the grip tape. I started to bleed, so the stuff is crazy grippy. So hopefully this helps you to see that there's no such thing as the best, there's just different grains, and you should get the grain that's the most appropriate for the kind of skating that you're interested in. Okay, well, you know, this uh, whole video is much shorter than a lot of the Skateboarding California episodes. There's not a whole lot to talk about with grip tape. But it's just one of those things, again, where I've seen a lot of people, say, on the internet talking about it, see people in skate parks talking about different kinds of grip tape, and most of what they talk about tends to be very similar brands. So I just wanted the opportunity to show people that there really is grip tape out there that's far more coarse and far more aggressive than you're probably used to. So grip tape like Edger, grip tape like Vicious. Um, I also believe that uh, Thumb Cutter, Madrid Thumb Cutter, is also really rough. I personally have never used it, but um, that stuff's pretty gnarly as well. So get out there and experiment. Try different kinds of grip tape on your board and see what you think. Oh, have you ever tried cleaning your grip tape? Yes, I do clean my grip tape. And in fact, um, I have some grip gum uh, in the backpack. And uh, grip gum is really good to use. I've also heard that you can use, uh, if you just go to a hardware store, and get stuff that you use to clean like a belt sander. It's the similar kind of stuff. And uh, that can clean your grip tape really well too. And a lot of people I know don't clean their grip tape and they think, ah, oh, it doesn't make a difference. No, it does. It makes a huge, huge difference. Once you get too much dust and stuff in there, people think that, oh, my grip tape's getting worn down. A lot of the times, it's not your grip tape getting worn down. It's that there's so much dirt built up inside that it just doesn't have as much grip and as much traction. If you get some grip gum, clean it up, it really will make the grip tape a lot more gritty again. So this is Vision. Thank you again for watching another episode of Skateboarding California. And hey, if you've never seen an episode of Skateboarding California, if this is your first, make sure you go check out some of the other ones that we have. And check out SillyGirlDesign.com while you're at it. <laughs>